demanding an end to the zero-hour contract. This demonstration in central London is targeting Sports Direct, which has 20,000 of its workers on such agreements, where someone is hired for a job without any guarantee of how many hours they will actually work. The demonstrators say the contracts are a way for big companies to watch their bottom line at the expense of employees. Some of the sectors where you know they're naturally casualized, but what we've seen is a massive expansion in areas like retail, construction, academia, places where you know there's no point having a zero hours contract, and it's just a way to you know, you know keep workers on their toes and sort of you know basically exploit them further. The Office for National Statistics says an estimated 250,000 people were on zero-hour contracts in the UK last year. Essentially, the person is on call to their employer at all times. They could work 50 hours one week or just 10 the next. But it could also mean having no work at all. And there is limited sick pay and pension benefits. People who sign these contracts are essentially giving away their right to guaranteed work. Zero-hour contracts are used in a variety of industries, from construction to hospitality and education. Critics say employers are taking advantage of too many people for not enough jobs, and they've called on the government for a review on the widespread use of the contracts. If you're there, just at the beck and call, employers not providing sickness, um, absence policies, not providing pensions, indeed not even providing pay terms and conditions while you're sitting waiting to be called is really a retrograde step. But supporters say the contracts give people flexibility and allows companies to hire when the need is greatest. With these types of contracts it's really, you know, you can, you can put out the work when you've got it uh, but you're not paying out uh, for staff when, when you haven't got the work. They also make the UK jobless numbers look a bit better. When someone signs a zero-hour contract, they're seen as employed, even if they haven't worked for weeks. And because an employee is expected to be on shift at a moment's notice, it's difficult to hold another job. That's why these demonstrators say the system is being abused and that employers need to treat workers as a benefit instead of a cost to be cut. Catherine Stancil, Al Jazeera.